Hello stylers! Welcome back to the Full Style Channel for another video. Today's video is the last of my Halloween series for this year. And this Halloween series DIY is I am recreating my Mad Hatter look that I created years ago. Yes, I am going back down the rabbit hole to recreate a DIY female plus size Mad Hatter. I am absolutely absolutely obsessed with this costume i recreated it um three years ago for a bar crawl that i attended here in chicago this was be this was pre full style youtube days and i wanted to bring it back to share with you guys all the fun whimsical, and madly things that i've done creating this costume so if you're interested to see how i put this costume together then stay tuned so starting off i started off with of course another tool skirt i promise you next year no, I'm not going to promise you. Next year we won't do tool skirts. So I have 10 yards of the red and about 5, 8 yards of the orange. And I'm going to layer these two together. And I'm going to start off with creating a tube for my elastic band or ribbon to go through to create the waistband. You guys have to excuse me. I am still, uh, I have a cold. I'm getting over a cold. So if I sound like a fall corn, I apologize. But I've drunk some tea and we're going to barrel through this. So I, you can see I went and hit and I layered the orange on top of the red. To give it a little layer effect, I, I wanted something different. I wasn't careful how I stitched this so it's uneven and it's all over the place. Because she's mad. It's the Mad Hatter. Nothing is perfect. Moving on, we're going to start with the hat. This is pictures of the hat from um, 2016, and I'm going to recreate it because some things fell off and some things are no longer working. Um, so this hat, my mom crocheted me this hat. Yes, this hat is made out of yarn. I got this ugly little scarf from the thrift store, and I got some ribbons and some buckles and a whole bunch of faux flop fur. And a whole bunch of feathers from Joann's and the craft store. And I'm just going through and I'm attaching certain things. I found the this necklace that had a whole bunch of um, teacup beads going around. It was the most hideous thing I've ever seen. But it worked perfectly because it's like little teacups and saucers. Actually, I think it's coffee mugs. But it works perfectly for my Mad Hatter theme. I'm going to take a whole bunch of different little buttons. And I'm going to hot glue those onto the scarf of um, that is tied around the hat. You can have as much fun with this as you want. You can have as little or as much stuff on here. You can go all out with buttons and a clock and a watch, um, buckles and ribbons and thread, hat pins. I've seen so many variations of the Mad Hatter hat, so it's all up to you. I'm going to take a little bit of this red ribbon um, to add a little splash of color that's going to be in the red in my makeup and my um, tool skirt. And I'm going to take some of this brown cardboard paper and I'm going to tear it up loosely and it's going to be the um, placement style card. I'm going to take a lighter and I'm going to burn the edges of this um, card, of this paper, just to give it that um, age worn look because it's Mad Hatter. Things are old. He doesn't really take care of things. He's all over the place. He's a mad genius and nothing ever makes sense, but yet it still makes sense. So at first I thought I was going to hand write these letters, but my handwriting is horrible. So you're going to see me go back, come back with um, some stickers that are calligraphy lettering and I'm going to use those on my hat and I got these stickers from like Michaels I use them all the time in my scrapbooking and bullet journal so they're like two three dollars you can pick them up from any craft store and I think even Walmart has them finish the card I'm gonna go on and I got some playing cards and I got all of the heart cards and then the Queen of Hearts as you all know Queen of Hearts is one of significant character in the Alice in Wonderland um, tale so I got those and I'm just playing around with the placement on the card I really wanted to deck this um, hat out and add a little bit more to it than I did the first time I created it I really had fun with this um, 
creating it I really wish I had the opportunity to wear it out and then I go back in with the lighter and try not to burn me or anything in my room um, to add a little bit more aging and weather and tear to this um, Mad Hatter costume then I also created these little fun little um, hair pants out of wire, jewelry wire, and some beading and tassels. Um, and I'm just going to play around with that coloring, the placement. Again, these are with that splash of red just to bring the red in from my makeup and my tulle skirt. I added a spool of thread and a needle on my hat because he's a mad he's a hatter he create hats you can create hats without some thread and a needle moving on I'm going to create the spool um, sash that he has he has a sash of spool going across his body um, that he wears but I'm going to create a little belt out of it and I'm just going to take some embroidery thread and I'm going to loop it through the, the little um, the hole where you attach it to the sewing machine and I'm going to just go up and down and just attach those you know, create a nice little top little um, I guess ribbon chain to create attach it to so I could be able to attach it with some elastic band to create a belt from it or you could use ribbon this is completely optional you don't need this you don't have to make it a belt you can make it a sash you can make it almost anything and then I'm gonna tie and loop the ends so that I could be able to take my elastic and loop it through so that I can be able to attach it around my waist and I've already pre-measured out this elastic to fit around my waist tautly, nicely, snug, whatever way, word you want to use. Guys, forgive me again. I am still, um, I still have a cold. So, yeah, speaking is hard right now as it is every day with me. So the last thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to create um, some lace cufflinks that I'm going to wear. I'm going to attach to some elastic band and wear underneath my jacket instead of attaching it to my jacket. I really love the size and style of this blazer and I don't want to add stuff onto the jacket because I want to keep it as this black plain blazer. So I'm going to take some elastic and we're going to imagine it around our wrist. I'm going to pull it up over my wrist just a little bit up because this, uh, this lace is really long and I don't want it to cover my entire hands. And then I'm going to cut that to the measurement I need and then cut the lace to the same measurement. And then I'm going to take some hot glue or you can use a sewing machine. I tried to make it as friendly as possible and not use a lot of sewing. And I'm just going to take some hot glue, some uh, fabric hot glue, and I'm going to attach the elastic band to the trim of the lace. Pulling at the elastic band so that it can loosely catch onto the trim of the lace so that it bunches up so I can still have that stretch to it so I'm able to slip it on and off my arm. Okay, moving on to the makeup. The first time I made this makeup, I went bold and crazy and just pow. I wanted to subdue this just a little bit so it could be more easier to wear and more simple. Starting off with this BH Cosmetic Palette, I'm going to go in to a medium warm brown matte shade. And I'm going to put that into my crease as my transitional base color. And I go kind of heavy with this because it is a very dramatic look. And then, of course, she's the Mad Hatter, so things are not as perfect. And then I'm going to go into a nice burnt orange color. And I'm going to add that... Um, into my almost right below my brow bone um, so I have definition between the brown and the burnt orange then I'm gonna go to another BH cosmetic and I'm gonna go into this matte red 
And I'm going to add that to my um, outer corner. That's going to be in the V shape in my outer corner. And that's going to be my defining color. That's going to be my defining color. And I really want that red to stand out. So you will see me going back and forth between the red and that orange. Deepening that red up so it can be red but not too red to look like I have a cold or... And the brushes I'm using are all from Real Techniques or BH Cosmetics. Um, if I want to send me some new brushes to try out, so I want to share that with you guys. Then I'm going to go, like I said, so you just see me going back into that red color. And I'm mixing that with another, um, another brown to deepen it up just a bit because I want it to be dark and intense as it could be. So now I'm going to wet my flat shader brush with some setting spray and I'm gonna go into this shimmery red color just to add a little bit of de definition between the shimmery um, orange color that we use and into the glitter we will add later again I like a nice um, ombre transfect of a color when I'm using shimmery and glitter on my eye look at me talking like I know what I'm talking about guys just follow along cuz I, I honestly don't know what I'm talking about So going back to the first BH Cosmetic palette, I'm going to use this shimmery orange color and I'm going to add that on the center of my lid. That is going to be our main base color. I'm loving the orange and the red together. I really do love them contrast of color and those are the colors that are, my costume is based upon. And again, I want this to be powerful and impactful I want you to really see that orange shimmery color on the lid so you will see me going back and forth between that red color and the shimmery orange touching it up blending everything together seamlessly so there is no harsh edges I have gotten to a place I like my eyeshadow for now. I'm going to go in with a foundation that, as you can clearly see, is way too light for my face. But the Mad Hatter and all the red dishes I've seen them in has been light and kind of pale. And then I'm going to set my under eye, do some baking, and I'm going to go in with a orange eyebrow pencil. Actually, it's a lip liner, and I'm going to use it as an eyebrow pencil to fill in um my eyebrows and I'm gonna go in with a brown um, mascara to just light it up a bit so it's not so starky brown because I usually will use a red or orange wig but I didn't have one and I didn't have the money to buy one so I'm gonna use a, a old a old brown wig going back into the eyeshadow I'm going to go to that red eyeshadow that's from the smaller BH cosmetic palette and I'm going to add that to my lower um, lash line because I really want this to be a nice sultry eye-opening look um, this is something that is perfect for a night out or the holidays this look definitely is more wearable than the first look that I created for this costume Then I'm going to go back into that bigger eyeshadow palette and I'm going to add that shimmery orange color right in the middle. Just, just basically recreating the look that I did on my upper lid, on my lid down on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with our lash glue or glitter glue. I am going to give me some glitter glue before the holidays, I promise guys. I'm going to add that glitter that lash glue into my inner corner, my tear duct area, and then I'm going to go in with some gold glitter and this is the NYX gold glitter and I'm going to just add that in my inner corner as if I would do a highlight just to sparkle up and add some glitter to the look. I am not careful with this glitter. I let it try to trickle down on my face kind of messy because again she's a Mad Hatter and nothing is ever perfect. Then I'm going to go in with a dark brown contour palette and a chalky gray eyeshadow that I had just a single eyeshadow and I'm going to use that to really carve out my cheekbones adding definition again because my foundation is really pale um the Mad Hatter renditions where he's really pale and his cheekbones are really saturated and um defined and I really wanted to 
have that trade off in photos and in video. I applied my lashes off camera as well as put on my wig. I'm going in with this really fluffy Real Techniques brush and I'm I'm going to add a really really bright orange blush to my cheeks. I really love this blush. I only really use it in costumes but it's a really pretty brush. And Then I'm going to go in with a nude eyeliner and I'm going to add that to my waterline to really open and widen my eyes like the characters are in the Mad Hatter costume especially the Tim Burton um, vision the Tim Burton remake of um, Alice in Wonderland I'm gonna go in with a red lippy stick from Colourpop and then I'm gonna finish that off with a true red lipstick from NYX which is going to be my base color because we're gonna add yes of course more glitter Gonna go in back to that lash glue with a stippling, little mini stippling brush, and I'm going to add that in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to go in with that gold glitter once again and add it to the center of my lips. Again, I am not careful or I don't take my time with this. I kind of have a little messy because she's mad. She wants to look gorgeous and beautiful, but she's mad so things kind of slip and with that stylus you're done it is time to assemble this costume so, like I said, I have this oversized man blazer that I got from the thrift store for like $2. I got this floral black and black and red scarf also from the thrift store and I just tied it around my neck in a little bow. I have the lace cufflinks. I have some lace sticking out of my pocket. I created um, the kind of ribbons that he wears on his lapel with a large bobby pin that I picked up from the sewing section in Joann's and a whole bunch of ribbon that I tied around bobby pin. I have, I made this ring from one of the beads from that necklace I told you about, the little teacup set necklace. Some wire to create this ring because I just thought it had a nice little touch. I stuck a hairpin from a hat pin into my, the pail of my blazer you have the hat you have the lace I took some little tool left over and stuck it in my pocket because I'm mad I'm creating hats on the fly so nothing makes sense and then you have the skirt and underneath it I just have a pair of shorts some tights and some rain boots because it was raining that day and it's perfect to wear if you actually wear this out for Halloween and that's it and that's his daughter that's my Mad Hatter look. I'm completely obsessed with her. She looks absolutely amazing. I think I like this version better than the first version I did. Even though I'm still obsessed with that first version. This one is 10 times better. I'm so excited I recreate this look. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry that this video is days, weeks late. And Halloween is only a few days away. But I hope you guys enjoy this video all the same. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so very much. I'm going to drink more tea now and stop talking. I love you guys so very much, but always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time, <laughs> happy Halloween. <laughs> That'll be funny. Bloopers. <laughs> this darn hat don't want to stay on my head.